Hi developers and special hi to Miloš. I am Stefan Bertoš and in this video I will speak about KeePass. For those who don't use password manager yet, I would like to recommend the one I am using for a long time already. Of course uh, you can use the web browser password manager but that is not the safest option. I will not go into the details why. So KeePass is the open source alternative password manager. What I will be showing and what I am really using is the desktop version. It's free, it's safe, it's open source, it's certified and there is no reason to write passwords on the paper in the plain text files or um, really in some other locations. It has also a lot of uh, clones of KeePass, but I will not go into the details. I will show you where to look for them, but I will just focus on the official version. Uh, so let's begin with the installation of the tool. Let's jump to the main page or main website for the key pass. So you see this is the page and basically um, on the main page there are a couple of links. What is interesting me at first is uh, the link for the download. So let's go to the downloads. It's here on the left and there are a couple of versions um, like the key pass version 2 point something and 1 point something so obviously we want the latest one and um, you can still decide if you want to have an installer or a portable version portable version is handy if you want to use key pass on the systems where you don't have the admin rights you want to you know just use the tool not install anything or if you want to have the binary on the USB stick so basically you could um, buy a USB stick and place key pass and as well the key pass database there and wherever you go you will have all access to your passwords so that is portable I usually use the installer one so let me click to download this it is redirecting me to the Salesforce this is fine I accept the privacy and the download should start in a minute. Let's see how fast it will be. Hmm, doesn't really work. So let's click on the button. Okay, let's use the direct link. And now it started finally. It is a small binary. Let's check here so it's an exe file and version 2.50 yeah let's double check that we are having the same one yes looks good so we will double click on the binary obviously it will ask me some stuff what i want to install i want to install it in english there are um, localizations so you can choose what uh, is the convenient convenient version for you and let's see, I will obviously read the terms and accept it. Then I will install it into default location. Okay, this is fine. And I will also use the defaults. So let's go. Let's create the, all the shortcuts and let's click next and install. And in a second, it should be installed and we can play around with this. Yes, I want to launch the key pass. So let's go. So we are in the key pass. And let's start with creating a new database. You can create this by clicking the menu with new or with creating on the toolbar or with the shortcut control N. So let's create a new database. It was asking me if I really want to do this. Yes, obviously. And you can store it on the local disk, on the flash. Uh, disk or whatever you like. Uh, the best practice is is to store this in the folder which is automatically synchronized to the cloud. 
uh, if you have some OneDrive or Google Disk or whatever drive, then it's the best place because it's then automatically synchronized and you will not lose it if you, you know, you lose the computer or your disk is corrupt. So let's save it locally. And now the next one is asking me about the master password. This is very important. You should remember this one and you should create a master password in the way that you will always remember this. So it's good to use something which you will remember. <laughs> I don't know, something like I live on red carpet street since uh, 1991. Let's type. And while typing, you can see what you are typing. Yeah, something like that. Obviously, you can do more. You can accept of using this master password. Um, use another optional mechanism to secure your KeyPass database, like key file provider. Well, you will store this key file somewhere or Windows user account. I don't use it, so it's up to you. I just use the master password. And let me copy paste this okay so i have a master password i can name the database as i like yeah private you can do much more security settings i usually keep the defaults but you see what kind of uh, encryption algorithms um, it is used by default so for example there is an as cha cha and so on yeah you can as well check uh the power of your computer by clicking this daily and test and it will change the iterations by using some algorithms for compression gzip is fine and always use recycle bin if you do something wrong until you don't really save it you still have a possibility to go back from the uh, database recycle bin advanced i think you will want to um, not to change anything here <laughs> so let's click ok now it is uh, adding you an offer to print the sheet but this sheet will not have anything you still need to write down the password but let's try if that makes sense let's try to print to PDF so I can show it to you But as I said, there will be nothing really useful. This is how it looks like. Yeah? So you can print it and then write down your password and then what to do with this file. So if I would do this, which I don't recommend, then please put this file into the safe, physical safe location, <laughs> which is locked. Good. Okay, when we have a database, we know the password, what next? Um, after the initialization, there will be a couple of uh, already created groups or folders with some sample entries for the passwords. So we don't need that. You can easily delete this, select this down and press delete. And it will ask you if you want to really delete, yes, or move it to the bin. You can then check in the bin, it's really there. If you want to delete this from the bin, again, select this and delete. Yeah, now it's gone. Obviously, still you need to save it. Yeah, so let's save it. Cool, save works. Good. Um, what next? Usually, if I start uh, creating a new KeePass database, I start to creating some kind of folders. It depends if it's for private usage or for the project. If it's for a project, I will create some structure for multiple projects. If it's for private, I will select something like like this and um, I will just fill then the new passwords inside the correct groups. So for example, let's use the general and let's create a new one. How to create a new one? Again, via the menu if you like or or via 
the shortcuts. So via the menu, it's at entry. And then usually what you want to pro provide is a title, what kind of a password it is. So I don't know, it would be for GitHub, yeah? I would type GitHub. The good thing is I can use also nice icons, which will represent somehow my password. This is also nice or custom icons. Then I usually need to provide the username. And oh shit. And then obviously the password. And the password is pre-generated, but I can choose whatever else generated password via the password generator, which is also nice. There are some shortcuts when you want to use, you know, when you already know what you want to use or you open the generator like this and then you can really generate whatever password um, based on your company policy or based on the policy which the application or web page requires. So I don't know, you can play around with this and generate very complex patterns. Um, and as well, it's important that you should um, have some kind of length. Then is too less for me, I would go with 20. And now it is generated, I can uncheck it and see the password. What is also good if you are using this to place a URL, and by placing this, we will then use it in the next step. Obviously, you can put some notes. If you want to expire the password, you can check the expire and you can do more. If you go to the advanced sections, for example, you don't ne really need to um, create an entry for just for the password, but you can also put the private keys or whatever else secrets you like. Then you can change all the properties and so on. You can use auto type, you can see the history, what you did on the password and so on and so on. Okay, now we created the password, see it's here. Let's save it. Now, how to use it? If we are here inside um, our entry, inside the table and we see this entry, we can use uh, copy username, which is, which is control B or copy password, which is control C. But we can do better. We can also use the auto type. And this is because we filled the URL. So for example, so for example, if we navigate to the GitHub, I need to uh, first fix the link. So let me fix it, let me save it. And you need to be on the on the GitHub page and in the first field, ideally. And then you should be able to use auto type. Yeah, something like that. But obviously <laughs> I didn't put the right password because I don't remember it. But this can be applicable on all the standard websites that you uh, navigate to the first field and then it will auto type for you. If, otherwise you can then copy the password manually or if you for example want to check what is the entry click enter or edit entry go again to the password field and create on these three dots and you will see the real password. How nice! What else I usually do is set uh, I create some kind of a structure so you can you know other groups and then create, simulate the structure as you have, for example, for application, you have a, I don't know, some databases, INT, UIT, production, servers, and so on. So you can create some nice structures or uh, something like that. There are also others, mm, handy tools, which you can find in the menu. Like, for example, you have a plenty of passwords, you can try to uh, create, uh, try to find um, the similar password and delete them, uh, check the password quality and so on. But the maybe most important, most uh, interesting 
at the end is the plugins which I want to point this, out, point this out but I'm not using really the plugins but there is a lot of plugins there for keypass with the plugins and as you see for each of the sections there are plenty of plugins which you can use for for example integration or imports or whatever other stuff which is nice yeah it is uh, it is an open source tool so you can really use plugins and install it and um, it should be easy and safe to to use i also forgot that i wanted to show you the page uh, which is displaying the clones and the clones is on the same page as on the downloads so if you go a bit down then you will see the full list of official clones or unofficial packages yeah um, please think about the passwords if you need or should use the password manager like this and um, as said you can obviously use the one in the browser but i would not say that it is the safest option I'm using this for a long time and except of using this um, kind of a tool please think how you uh, distribute use the password how often do you do change the password and so on and so on so this is just one tool from the security chain which you should be aware and you should be using properly and that's all folks uh, so feel free to leave a comment please subscribe click on the bell to not miss any upcoming video and of course click on the like button click on the like button use passwords securely and wisely and let me know if you are using some kind of uh, other password manager which is um, from your perspective more secure better lighter cooler whatever Thank you and bye.